guys welcome to automation club let's continue on protector with typescript framework designing so in this video i will explain you about how to do a parallel execution with multiple instances of browser in protector and also we'll see how to do a cross browser testing like running the script in multiple browser like in chrome in firefox or internet explorer okay so uh, for parallel execution it is very much important when we got the request like uh, we need to run hundreds of uh, scripts together to uh, perform the testing so to increase the speed and to achieve it as soon as possible we can uh, run the scripts parallelly right with multiple inst instances so for that uh, we can uh, do some configuration in protector as well and there is minor change required to achieve it okay so i will just show you how to do it okay suppose i do have one spec file so what i will do i will create another spec file so that uh, we can have a two different uh, script together we can run so let me create it suppose spec2 dot ts describe test suite or test two function then it block test browser dot get and we will use in our first script uh, which we designed for uh, framework designing so we used in this application and for second script we can use some other application so this is calculator angular application so let me give it in second script so our agenda is to run these two scripts parallelly in multiple instances of uh, browsers then uh, okay so you have to do one change in configuration.ts for multiple instance you have to add max instances and you need to give how many instance you want to run in parallel suppose I have given two so two test cases or two script will run in parallel uh, max okay so max instances then you have to add one more parameter which is saved test files so this is also required true okay so i have added just two uh, parameters max instances and said uh, test files so in max instances you have to give the number which you want to run in parallel suppose uh, if i want to run three scripts in parallel so we we, we should have three spec file and then uh, the number will be three here so those three uh, scripts will run in parallel okay so for second script let me do something okay so we will just quickly inspect it will not create page object for this for our first script we have just uh, let me brief you guys so uh, what we have done in this uh, script we have automated up application and we have created a page object by using page object model uh, concept 
so there are two pages add customer and home page so where we have kept our uh, locators and elements and for data we have uh, used dot json file where we have kept all the data so let me run it for a single set of data only so i will just comment it just to know it okay so it will run for one set of data and then So for second script we will do some steps okay so quickly let me inspect it by dot ng model means by dot model we can directly use element by dot model dot send keys so here let me hard code that should not be the problem okay so why this error is coming then for second uh, field by dot model what is that so for the second one we do have by dot model second again dot send keys okay so for the third one like uh, okay in first field we need to enter some value and go button simply i will take id okay so element by dot id dot click okay so let it be uh, these steps because in this video there is no intention for scripting and all just we will see how to do a parallel execution so let me stop here only we'll just uh, uh, enter first value and second value and just click on go button okay this all only we will perform so async and use the combination of async and await so that promise will be resolved okay so nothing i have done much for the script level so you can just uh, enhance it i have just uh, added just for parallel execution purpose okay so we do have two scripts ready now and just add this in configuration file so inside spec tag you have to add second spec uh, name that is spec2 dot js fine so now our uh, two scripts are there and we want to run this two in uh, multiple browser okay means multiple instances of chrome browser so let me close it so 
csc compile and then run protector js files configuration dot js so it is showing two running uh, running two instances so one is super calculated and that is already done because uh, we performed only some two or three actions so for the um, spec dot ts still it is uh, working and first one already done so you can see in the log for uh, yes see the log customer added successfully with customer id because we have printed this okay and for the uh, calculator one this is the output and this is the log okay so we have run two instances together so this is just for a demo purpose but when we work in real time a project so we do have n number of uh, test script which we can run in parallel but ai yeah, script should not have any issue and it should be robust so that uh, it, it will work without any issue okay so this is how you can run in multiple instances suppose if you want to see uh, while happening so let me add uh, wait again i will run it browser dot sleep thousand millisecond okay just to see uh, on the screen because it is too fast esc then protector configuration dot js so it should run two instances see the first instance way to sns and this one is the for calculator okay so these two are running in parallel so first one is already completed okay so it's done Fine. So this is how we can do. Uh, we can execute multiple instances in a browser. Okay. So next is like for uh, uh, cross browser testing. Like if you want to uh, test uh, an application, whether it is working for uh, means uh, in different browser or not, like in Chrome or Firefox or Internet Explorer, according to the application compatibility. If you want to test it, which we can do it in uh, protector as well. Okay, so for that, what we have to do is go to configuration.es and instead of uh, capability, use multi capability. Okay, so just comment it for as of now and instead of capability just add multi capabilities okay and here you have to give browser suppose uh, first browser is browser name Suppose you want to run in Chrome, okay. And for second one, similarly, you just add it. Suppose I want to run in Firefox, okay. So it will also run in parallel one in uh, chrome and second instance in firefox okay so yeah comma is missing here fine 
so what I have changed here now uh, I have added multi capabilities instead of uh, capabilities okay so and then I have given the browser name which browser I want so you can add for uh, Internet Explorer or some Safari or some other browser okay so let me compile and run it quickly let me run it and just observe so one chrome browser has opened and see uh, firefox is also open okay so one script is running on here and second one is in firefox okay so it will check for both of the script whether it is working on uh, both of the browser or not so this is what the advantage is of uh, multi capabilities like we can run uh, scripts in both of the browser together okay so i will uh, share these uh, changes detail in uh, description of this video also okay so yeah that's it for this video thanks thanks for watching thank you